For the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. In the recent past, we got the death card and it's with the queen of pentacles. Now this death card, it's a very interesting card in the tarot. Just keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical, physical death because we're all creatures with free will. And such things, they're not written in stone. This card simply indicates transformation and change. So it's a time of deep transformation. It would have been likely to be internally and externally in your life. Probably some situations, things, and people that you had counted on or had gotten used to, they were probably no longer avail available to you in quite the same way. So this transition, it probably was a difficult time for you even though the change was needed and now this death card is paired with the queen of, queen of pinnacles queen of pinnacles it's indicating that you probably spent time money and energy on your home maybe getting it to be more comfortable and this would have been a good thing provided you didn't take on too much debt people could have been looking to you for insight and and maybe some advice and you could have helped them if you decided to do so so it was a time period when you got a whole lot accomplished and you probably just wanted comfort. That's what this card looks like. The card of Queen of Pentacles, it's below the word pass. And you see how she's sitting in her backyard. She's on a lounge chair. She's probably counting her check. She's reading her checkbook because that huge pinnacle that she has in her hand, that means money, cash, coins, finance. So she's, she's satisfied. She looks comfortable looking at that huge pinnacle and she looks very at very much so at peace her dog is sleeping on her toes keeping her feet warm and it looks like she's feeding the squirrels or any type of bird or animal that comes her way so it's just all about comfort and peace because Aquarius in the recent past it looks like you might have went through something really really difficult maybe because you got this death card so you could have been in a relationship that you were deeply unhappy in and you probably stayed there because you didn't want to let go of what was familiar or you hated the thought of being alone so that's what the death card could mean when it talks about relationships so you might have ended the connection uh, or you just lost interest um, it could have ended, there was a conclusion, or maybe maybe um, along with that, um, breakup, split, ending, you went through some deep transformation. Uh, a lot of times if you're with someone for a long time and then you, you're out of the relationship, you're no longer there, and the person is gone, a lot of people go through transformation and changes. Maybe that's what you went through. Maybe you were no longer the person that you once were when you first met the person. And now you two are no longer together. So some type of deep transformation took place in the recent past. And you realize that things are different now. And you just wanted comfort. You probably spent a lot of time at home. And you just want a peace, comfort, and you probably just want to be in your home because that's what the picture is showing. That's where you found peace of mind at because you just, it looks like in the recent past you went through something very um, challenging. You come to some conclusion. Maybe you let go of an old, outdated attitude and it brought about finality. Or you maybe you lost interest in something or person that you really had a lot of emotions and feelings for, or you realize that, or this happened to you, maybe someone ended a connection or the both of you walked away and it caused a lot of deep transformation and change in the long run. But just know with the death card it's saying it's needed. Whatever happened was needed. Some deep transformation and change. You ended a relationship and maybe this person was no longer the person that you knew when you first met and so you ended it you lost interest they lost interest in the connection
possibly and just everything changed your whole world changed some type of deep transformation aquarius you wanted comfort afterwards you took the home took to yourself maybe and that's where you that's probably where you found healing and comfort so enough about the recent past i know we don't want to hear about the past right let's talk about what's coming up so aquarius for the present time coming up for the last week of august we got this queen of cups and it's with the page of cups now the queen of cups it's a very healing and nurturing type very good type of energy is here and it's with the page of cups now queen of cups it's showing a woman who would be really helpful to you uh, she'll remind you to bring love compassion to all areas of your life work home relationships things are probably better for you when you get this card in a reading than you're realizing queen of cups when it comes to love it's a very positive outlook about a relationship yeah very positive like i said the queen of cups is basically a really nurturing person really very healing and supportive now it's with the page of cups um which is showing a need to play dream have fun so you could be taking yourself really serious or far too seriously. There was a poet that once said, the one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. Now the first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So you have to know the difference. Now, basically what we got coming up with these two cards paired together, it looks like you could have someone that wants to nurture or heal a connection with you. It could work. This person could reach out to you. And may, they might invite you to some place to have fun. Or maybe you you could have someone that wants to um, be very loving towards you. Maybe this is a new person that's coming in. Or maybe it's the person that you're dealing with. Someone wants to possibly reach out because we've got the Queen of Cups and be very loving towards you. Uh, someone could be wanting to offer you a cup of love. Queen of Cups is, cups is about love. Heal is very healing energy. There's nothing negative about the Queen of Cups. So someone good is coming your way. And um, this person could remind you to play, dream, and have some fun. Just loosen up. You've been through some difficulties in the recent past. So this person will probably help you heal this um past that we talked about they'll probably help pull you out of if you're in a dark space from the recent past that we just talked about someone is coming towards you that's good for you put it that way and um, this person will will probably open you up loosen you up but you see how these people they're hanging out at the park the page of cups is the card that's below the word present they're hanging out at the park they're halfway naked they're turning up the bottle i'm not saying that's what you should do but this person will remind you how to enjoy life again and laugh have fun it looks like a lot of aquarius have been through some difficulties the death card is it's it can be deep and not easy for a lot of people some people get stuck in that um that uh, transformation and change or that whatever happened that caused you to have the death card in the reading. So this person helps you get through this. Could be your mother. Somebody very healing and nurturing is gonna be really good for you coming up towards the end of August. Could be a new love. So look out Aquarius. So let's move on over. Why don't we take a look and see what the challenge is going to be? Now we got this Seven of Pentacles, and it's with the Six of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, it's about returns on investments. If you look at the picture of this Seven of Pentacles, you see how she's watering a plant? That's the card above the word challenge. Uh, she probably had it since it was a little baby. Now it's about eight feet tall. The leaves are really dark and green. So she takes care of it every morning and every night. 
She wants it to work. She wants this plant to grow. She wants to reap the rewards from all the energy that she put into this plant. So the card really says it all. That's the Seven of Pentacles. It's about, it could be about a bank account re returning money to you or investments of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. This is usually positive. And so you could be starting, you know, starting to feel really secure, more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along really well and you'll start to feel really hopeful about the future. Okay, so good thing. That's, a, that's one of the challenges. Now, it's paired with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups, if you're currently in a relationship, it could indicate that there could be a need for you to refocus it towards the future, talk about your goals, dreams, try new things. It's important not to stay stuck in the past. Also, when you get the Six of Cups, it could be, well, it can signify the reappearance of an old lover, an ex someone from the past, they could be returning. They could be trying to restart a relationship with you. Six of Cups is about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected to children. So it's going to be important not to spend too much time and effort and energy thinking about the good old days because we, have, we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time, from time to time. But if we start to think, that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So Aquarius with these two cards paired together is basically showing that your challenge is that you could have someone returning from the past coming up towards the end of August or could go into September and maybe, maybe soon, maybe in a couple of days because we all know that when you get these readings, the time is fluid very fluid so what it's it's showing your challenge is that you got someone i'm okay i'm getting a couple of storylines here you got someone returning from the past if you know there's no one from the past then you you okay let me say this you got someone returning an ex someone from the past and they're going to really really want this connection to work with you they're going to want to want to grow with you. They, they're going to want this to really, really work. Like I said, she gets up every morning and night just to take care of this plant. So your person is going to want to work hard. Somebody from the past or some of you are saying there's no one in the past. OK, I get it. All right. No one in the past. Then it's saying that you're stuck in the past you're probably still thinking about what we talked about in the recent past some connection that didn't work out we talked about that that death card showed up something that died some of you are still stuck there you're stuck in the past you're looking back on how things used to be and you're just probably wishing that it really that, that it worked or you try probably just trying to trying to figure out why didn't it work or you just wanted it to work so i get two storylines someone from the past is returning and they're going to really want it to work with you or you're stuck in the past a lot of your aquarius are stuck on some connection that didn't work out you're just stuck there and you're wishing and hoping that it would have worked that it really worked but it but you but you're just stuck with memories so that's the challenge now why don't we move on over and let's see what the outcome is we got this three of wands and we got the knight of cups so the three of wands you could find that things are going much better in fact it could start to feel like your ship has finally come in so you're going to start to feel really strong with a good reason. You could finally be, be experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. This three of wands, it can refer to a lot of things in a really positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're being seen and appreciated and are well respected. So give yourself some credit. So this is really good. 
for a lot of you because a lot of you have um, the recent past looked pretty dark there. So it could start to feel like your ship is finally coming in. Great Aquarius. Now another good card is paired with the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is very optimistic. Good card to see in a reading. Uh, someone is coming in. You see this man, he's charging in on this big, huge fish. So you got someone that's wanting to be really romantic and sensitive towards you. So if you're wondering if someone is going to reach out to you, maybe you got your eyes on someone or you're hoping someone would contact you, well, take a look, back, take a look at that card. The Knight of Cups is below the word outcome. They're coming in. This person is coming for you and they're going to be really romantic and sensitive. So they might want to try to sweep you off your feet. Now, this could be someone new or someone that you know. Or, or someone that you're dealing with already. And it's going to feel good. It's going to feel like your ship has finally come in. So you feel like, well, the Three of Wands is about expansion, growth, and you start to look ahead. You're, you're no longer stuck in the past. With this person that's coming in. Um, like I said, they are um, excited to be with you. They're going to try to sweep you off your feet. They're going to want growth, expansion, and it's going to feel good. You're going to start to look ahead, no longer thinking about the past anymore. So there's, that's good, Aquarius. I'm happy for you because I don't like seeing the death card. Because the death card can be a difficult transition for some people. And hopefully not for you. So Aquarius, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it.